So in the last video, we got acquainted with the main function and a few built-in data type. In this video, we want to learn functions better. So I'll get rid of this default code of the hello world statement. Uh, right now I'm using the dart.dev, try dart, which is an online uh, dart ID where you can try out dart. And this is to explain you some of these uh, dart concepts. So I can create a new function. Uh, to create a new function, what I can do is I can type in the name of the function, for example, get info, which would be a new function. And then I'll have to open these round brackets and curly brackets. So inside the round brackets go our arguments if there are any. And inside the curly brackets, we write the logic for a function. A function is simply put is a group of statements. If you want to repeat certain statements instead of having them uh, instead of writing them again and again, we can create a function and call this function more than once. So let me say there is a function get info, which takes in as arguments, a name and a integer roll number. So I can create these values and I can go ahead inside my function and print out these values to console as we have previously seen by just typing in the name of the variable we want to print. And I can do the same for the roll number. Close this as well. All right, we're good to go. Now, how do we call these functions? So main function is our first function to get control. And I can call this function inside by typing in get info. And I can do it something like this. So you'll notice that we are getting an error which says that two positional arguments are missing. So I can pass these values by typing in Aditya and a number, let us say 243 is my roll number. If I run this function right now, it should print out the two values to console. For example, we got name and 243 in the next line. So this is like a simple function implementation, but I wanted to show you how to pass these values to the function and also how to call the function inside. I mean, now when working with Flutter, this is like a basic concept we would use. We would want to create our own functions to optimize the process. One more thing that I uh, quickly want to show you is how to create uh, named parameters. So we can wrap uh, the two parameters we have right here inside um, the curly braces. Now, instead of passing them like this, we'll have to specify a name and use a colon, specify the value in front of it. And similarly for roll number, I'll have to type in roll number, colon, and the corresponding value in front of it. All right, so inside our function two, we'll have to make it required if it is uh, like required, unless it is not required, we'll have to specify a default value. For example, let us say the default value is. Now, if we run this program, it should work fine. There you have it. Like we have printed out Aditya and 24. Now, I introduced two new things here. One is the required keyword, which basically suggests that when calling this function get info, we definitely need to pass in the rule number. Now, if I do not pass this name, the function would still work without any error. It would pick this default value and it would try to print it out to console. So we get ADI and 24 under it. But if we remove this particular value, which is required, we would get an error, which would say like, okay, one issue, which is the name parameter rule number is required and it is missing. Now, Instead of using something like required, I can also specify a default value for this roll number. Let me say two. And then if I, instead of specifying a default value here, I can make name required instead. So now I'll have to pass in name whenever calling this and I can pass in by name and save it like this, run the function and it should work just fine. So we have seen like the basics of how we can create a function. We can also specify a return type. For example, in our case, it would be void since the function is not returning anything, but we can also type in string and come back here, return 
uh, some random string let us say done so i can wrap this get info function inside a print statement to get this return value and also print it out to console which would work so i can get rid of this extra semicolon now if i run this program it should print out adi the number 2 and then finally return this done and then that done would be printed out from our main function so these are like the basics of working with functions we saw how we can create a function we saw how we can specify normal parameters then we went on to see how we can make them named parameters also how we can pass in a default value or maybe make it required and then lastly we saw the return types of the function and that is about it now if you want to learn more about uh, functions and how like what all options are there you can again go down to the docs go to language tour and here we have functions so it will tell you everything uh, how a function is created about the parameters like how you can uh, you know when defining parameters how you can specify named parameters and the main function so this is the main function which is the first one to get control and a lot of other options right here so we also saw return values now uh, one quick point like if here instead of specifying like a default value you wanted to have a function which would be named for example let us say it had to be named but you didn't want to specify like a default value so you can make it nullable as in string name now the error should go away so when calling this function it is up to you if you want to pass in the value or not and that is about it everything about functions so in the next video we'll work with conditional flow in dart and see like how statements like if else switch case can be used and also loops for loops while and do while loops